Hey, what's up, guys? This is Brian from Whisper Status 74. This is a 65 inch Sony 8F8. And many of you are asking about this display as Black Friday approaches, as OLEDs are hot, but they are still expensive. The A9G is a lot more expensive than this model here and isn't better in every single aspect. In some ways, a lot of people believe the AF8 was a better display. That can be debated. What can't be debated is the amount. Of difference in price it can be a thousand dollars difference you'll have to look up the differences in price but it is a great deal cheaper than the a9g look at these blacks we are also in a very bright room my boy ryan Hello. <laughs> we've done ryan's display many times his dad jeremy bought it um beginning of the year we've done tests on it as far as burning three months nine months no problems it looks amazing but this is the one i recommend out of sony's lineup a lot of you are looking at the C8 versus the C9. They offer very similar picture quality, but the C9 has HDMI 2.1. Sony, neither display has HDMI 2.1. So there really isn't any reason. Actually, that little dot you see is from my camera. But there's no reason not to purchase this last year's model as it was kind of a mid-year and looks unbelievable. Again, no burn-in, no image retention. We are in a very bright room, and it looks amazing. But this is the one I recommend if you're looking at Sony OLEDs. The A9G is nice as it is, as much as I like it. It's just so expensive in comparison to the C9 and the C8. But the differences in price between the A8F and the A9G is huge. You can buy a whole other display for that amount of money. Gorgeous, off angle, perfect. The reflections look like quite a bit because, again, I am in a pretty bright room here. And the spots you see are actually on my lens. Gorgeous display. So in regards to OLED, even though they are top of the line in terms of picture quality, they don't change much year after year. The C8, in many ways, is the exact same as the C9. Maybe a bit more processing on the C9. Maybe a bit more processing on the newer A9G due to the different chip. But the picture quality is nearly the same. They may even, they may even share the same chip. I'm not 100% sure, but it looks gorgeous. And again, the price is very, very different. Now, I don't see them having 77-inch versions of this. If you are looking for a 77-inch version, you may have to go with LG. I do believe Sony has it. I have not been able to find them in their pricing, but they do look amazing. So when it comes to OLEDs, um, with the C9, like we mentioned, it has HDMI 2.1. So that turns some of you off to the C8, but HDMI 2.1 aside, the C8 is nearly the same and is absolutely gorgeous. Same here for the AF8. It is gorgeous, beautiful. Again, it's been over or nearly a year. There are no problems with burn-in or any issues at all. We've tested extensively. I'll do another test after it hits a full year. They're very, very happy with it again. Pretty bright room, though you see some reflections, it is definitely bright enough. Dolby Vision is spot on, it looks amazing. So that would be my recommendation guys for Sony OLED. The AF9 is beautiful, it's won one of the shootouts, but I would look at the AF8 or A8F as it's nearly the same picture quality, stronger in some aspects, and is a good deal cheaper. All right guys, thank you as always. That is a 65 inch AF8 from Ryan's house. Take care.